Okay, this is group 14. Uh, my name is Sia Vash and my uh, group mate is Luis. We're going to go over wire transmission. Uh, our project was a scene detector that uh, detects movement and it sends, uh, detects movement with PIR sensor. It's an infrared detector sensor and send uh, triggers to uh, with NRF modules to Arduino and Arduino changes scenes uh, to camera or light based on uh, existence of uh, players or dancers or performers in that scene. This is good for big events uh, because manually changing scenes is difficult so it can be aut automated. Uh, our outline is intro and wireless communication, general information, we have intro and then uh, we go over NRF 24 module uh, specification, PIR module, mesh network ar arrangement, implementation, literature review, results and conclusion. Uh, wireless communication basically just having things uh, connect to the internet or a net, uh, not necessarily internet but uh, and talk to them remotely uh, there is one disadvantage of wireless is which is bandwidth and uh, latency uh, but that is mostly when you transfer big data or larger data such as video or audio through wireless uh, our project was just sending flags and triggers so we didn't face any uh, issues in, uh, such as having bandwidth issue or latency or bad quality because we're basically just sending one data which is yes or no, which, which is just a flag to triggers a, um, an event. And we used uh, NRF 24 modules which I happen to have quite a few of them I ordered before COVID um, and uh, from a, I think Ali, AliExpress or something, but it took a couple of months and they arrived. And I have them here. Uh, they didn't really work. Uh, I have them here. Uh, they didn't really work as intended. Uh, and all of them, they had this little uh, tiny mark behind their crystal and i'm not sure if that was the problem but i looked online they're adding a capacitor to make it work with uh, arduino nanos but uh, we didn't have time to order a capacitor so our project and i actually built uh, i thought it's gonna work so i built it on the actual board and i did a little bit of wiring uh, and i thought this would be a problem but um that's why I implemented on the breadboard, but it didn't work even with the breadboards. And this is the module, PRI, PRI module that we are sending the trigger. So, uh, but the problem was, I'm pretty sure this uncompatibility of this uh, NRF with the Arduino board. But they basically send, uh, they work in 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency and they have range of uh, 100 meters. And they can be used as um, a mesh network. They can be used for uh, just sending uh, data as as big big as one megabyte per second. And these are the two megabyte per second, and that's that's their speed. And this is a PIR module. Uh, this is pretty much it's it, it's simpler than it looks. It only takes two pins, which is comparing two. A value from its left uh, half to its right half so when it when a warm body gets close to it it changes the the e equilibrium of these two values from left and right and it sends one one trigger and that's how it detects movement uh, um, this part worked fine but uh, but we couldn't implement the whole project and mesh network that was that was the whole uh, idea of like making it work in a mesh 
network so it's it can be used in a bigger events uh, and it can be basically up to five levels and each level can have uh, five children so total of 3125 nodes and they just have address of 15 bit addresses uh, uh, and they have up to 100 meters so if they can cover quite a large uh, area but we didn't really need that many but that was the plan to implement it in a mesh network and Lou is going to go over implementation implementation uh, these NRF24 modules can be used to connect multiple IoT devices in homes, schools, workplaces, hobbies, robotics, industrial projects it supports SPI interface and a computer, a serial peripheral interface is an interface that enables the serial exchange of data between two devices, one called a master and the other one called a slave. This allows for multiple devices to communicate with each other seamlessly with no interruption in regards to Wi-Fi connectivity. There are different ways for wireless communication, such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, etc. Using these uh, NRF24 modules is one of the most affordable, simple, and practical ways the literature review. The initial shocker structure simply had the fields preamble, address, payload, and um, cyclic redundancy check. And chance choppers added extra capabilities for improved communications by utilizing a newly developed packet control field. This new structure is fantastic for a variety of reasons. It supports variable length payloads through a payload length specifier allowing payloads to range from 1 to 32 bytes. Interfacing with the NRF24 module is a lot of effort, but thankfully there are a variety of libraries available. RF24 is one of the most well-known libraries. So the results. So having two or more Arduino boards that can communicate wirelessly over long distance offer a world of possibilities, such as remotely monitoring sensor data, controlling robots, home automation, and so on. And when it comes to providing low cost, yet dependable two-way RF solutions, no one does it better than the semiconductor transceiver module. The NRF24 plus receiver module is frequently, frequently available online for less than $2, making it one of the most affordable data transmission solutions available. The nice part is that these modules are so little that you can add a wireless interface into practically any project you want. So discussion. Uh, yeah, I can go over the discussion. So basically, this is our conclusion. Um, this is the as I showed you. These are our try unsuccessful attempt to yeah. build this uh, mesh system. But initially, we had this problem with the module. Um, so in the future, we are going to implement that additional additional capacitor to see if it works. In the future, we are going to uh, add that capacitor and see if that solves the problem uh, because there are people are getting them to work, but it's just we're missing something here. So that would be the conclusion um, uh, in and forthcoming in the future, our plan. And this was a presentation. Uh, thank you for watching.